there is a lot of things that upset me in this world in this day and age but this is something that's fresh on my mind because it's been happening to me over the past while it always always comes along and it always just infuriates me because americans can be quite stupid i'm sorry if you're american i assume you're very lovely and intelligent you know i don't i don't try to judge people you know until i've met them but well people on instagram are a different breed now of course i'm going to be talking about the phrase underrated and the phrase overrated and this all started when I started making tier list videos on Instagram, okay, something gained some traction, but the one that gained the most traction was me calling the Dodge Viper a piece of shit, right? But that's not what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the fact that some people think that cars can't be overrated because they like them, okay? Whether a car is overrated or underrated or not doesn't depend on your personal opinions on the car. It depends on the majority of the world's opinions on the car, right? So let's say me and you... Okay, we both like, uh, let's say, Aston Mine, right? But then let's say nobody else likes Aston Mine. We would believe it's underrated because no one else likes it, okay? And if it's a great car, great things about it. I mean, that has kind of just contradict what I say because that's what we think compared to what other people think. But you get my point, right? If some people think a car's good and some people think a car's bad, that doesn't necessarily make it underrated. Also, doesn't it? it's, it's very confusing. I still... It still confuses me to this day. But my point is, people misuse this word all the time. You can also have good cars that are overrated. For example, the new 992 GT3 RS. Very amazing car. But it's kind of overrated because that, it's just all people seem to be talking about when it comes to Porsches. You know, people overlook like the GT4 RS, you know, the GT4, you know, uh, the new um, Sport Classic. No one talks about these cars, even though they're great manual cars in their own respective rights. You know, everybody's talking. I mean, the GT4 RS isn't a manual car. It never came in manual because it's an RS. And the RS is, well, they no longer come in manuals, which kind of sucks. People just label it as overrated. And the reason why it's labeled as overrated is because a lot of people overhype it, okay? People think it's not as good as it is. But then again, to these people, have they driven it? No, they haven't driven it. Every person I've heard of who has driven one has said it's an amazing car. Which leads me to the next point. If you've never driven a car, how can you comment on this? You're only going to be able to comment on the sound and the looks. Because those are the only two things you can really get from a car without driving it. Like, name another thing you can get from the car without driving it. You can read numbers on a spreadsheet, you know, but what does that mean at the end of the day? You know, you can have a car that does 0 to 60 in five, no, no, 0 to 60 in one second, right? Really quick, okay? And you have an 0 to 60 of five seconds, okay? Which car do you want to pick? You're probably going to say one second car, right? Because it's faster. What if I told you the one second car is a Tesla Roadster, right? This Tesla Roadster goes quick. Battery does very quick. It that That's pretty much all it's good for. Other car is the new GR86. I think the number 60 something. I think it's around about 5.8. I could be wrong. I, I, I'm very likely to be wrong. It could be around six seconds. I don't really know off the top of my head. But my point is... How many people do you see chatting shit on the new GR86? No one. That is an underrated car. Overrated car, Supra, okay? I mean, then again, people who drive them really do quite like them, but everybody just, just always talking about them. Always, 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 always. Another overrated car, and I can't really speak on this because I've never driven any of these cars, so I can't really talk. The only two, three cars I can really talk on is a Peugeot 3008, um, a Citroen C1, and a Mitsubishi Colt, because they're only three cars I've ever driven, right? But... There are a lot of cars that people just get wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like, people will say, oh, this is a great car, but it's it's overrated. You know, great cars can be overrated. Great cars can be underrated. Bad cars can't be underrated, in my opinion. And I mean, that's kind of the thing with, like, being a car guy, you know, in 2024 kind of it's kind of weird you know especially with the americans you know they're all it's all about numbers on spreadsheets but in england it's more about the car itself like a car that i think is incredibly underrated for the price and it's totally not just because i own one i'm totally not really biased it's a citroen c1 it's they're really good cars okay like honestly you can get you can get started in motorsport with one of those for under five grand like fully kitted out car ready to race under five thousand pounds name another car where you can get all the parts you'd need to go racing in one for under five thousand including buying the car and insuring it for you you can't do that with any other car you cannot do that it's impossible you it, it should, you just can't do it that's why it's such an underrated car and they drive like crazy as well like 
I'd never get a wheel spin in that unless if I like properly put my put my foot down and dump the clutch. It never gets wheel spin. It's it's an amazing car, and you've seen you know I'll insert a clip right now. Sven Group, you know, he's always sliding his. It, it, they're great cars, you know. Now it's time for an example of an overrated car. Um, I'm gonna say it: the BMW M140i, or just any BMW M1 M N340. Just all those, okay? Yeah, they make loads of power. Yeah, they're BMWs, but like. I don't really see the appeal apart from that. Like, like I'd rather have an E36 or like an E30 than one of those. Like, they're, they're not real M3s or M. Or they didn't, the M1s are six cylinder sports car from like the 70s, so that's kind of irrelevant. But you see my point, right? It's kind of to your own opinion. But if everybody thinks something, then it's generally accepted as that. And it's just like I just hate these terms. It's kind of the point I'm getting to. Like. It, it, it's just someone replied to a comment where I said, oh yeah, Porsche probably is a bit overrated, you know, people say too highly of it compared to other cars and they kind of forget about other things. Someone replied to it saying, oh no, Porsche is underrated. Why, how is it underrated? At what stage does something differentiate between overrated and under... It, it doesn't make any sense, but um, yeah, that's why being a car guy sucks in 2024. Um... I also found out I can get insured on an Audi A4 for, for the same price it cost on my Colt. So um, I might be buying one of those in the not very near future. But um, yeah, that's about it for today. Um, au revoir. Enjoy the rest of your day slash night slash whatever you're doing. Bye bye.